It's not a huge team, there's basically about 11 in the team, but they're split into several sections. The first section is the clinic preparation and admissions preparation, where we make notes available for the clinics and, and wards. We've got our library section, which again, a very busy section, that's where all notes come back to after discharge. And also they are responsible for any requests for medical records. The other area is the scanning bureau. Again, a very busy area, as you can imagine, because we're trying to scan more records than we've ever done before. And there's, it's quite a complexity to that. It's not as straightforward as people think it is. It's got to be 100% accurate. And the other area is clinical coding. That is the area where the coders are trained and that data is sent through to the statistics division in Edinburgh, where it's used for many, many different areas. Her colleagues within business services make the appointments in the patient coordination centre and that links in with us because we then have to pick that up. So a week before a clinic, we run off a clinic list and then we start that process of looking for the patient's original referral letter. So it's quite unique in NHS Scotland because most people, it's a GP referral into your local board, but we're a secondary referral because that board then has to pass that to us. So the staff then have to make sure that that original referral is in your notes for the clinician to see why you've been referred to us. We are providing all the information that a nurse, a consultant, would need to see the latest referral letter for why they're actually attending the Jubilee. So obviously that's information that's vital to them. And if there's any other information from previous um, times we've been here, that tends to be, because it's a bit older, probably scanned. So if it's any historic information, they can then view that on the system. And the more recent information would be in a case note. I am the system admin person for eight of the hospital systems. It's setting up accounts, resetting passwords, updating access, retiring documents. Track Care is the one system that I do a lot more in. I am a set up outpatient clinics. I help users. I make sure the data is correct before it goes to Public Health Scotland. Um, I run a lot of reports and I assist any users when they've got any issues. The clinical coders are responsible for anybody who has been admitted to the hospital. What they do is they assign codes to the diagnosis and procedures that they obtain from the hospital systems, which is discharge letters, um, operation notes. These codes are worldwide. Everybody uses them and when you hear on the news about how many people were admitted to hospital who had a heart attack or who had a specific kind of cancer, this is actually how they get their information. It's the information that the clinical coders put into the system because this information is extracted and sent to Public Health Scotland and that's how the government can get their information of what's happening. Specifically my role, I deal with the library section and medical records, dealing with patient case notes, pulling them for clinics, filing them away after they've been with the secretaries and all the clinical information has been filed away in it. We also monitor the location of case note records just so it can be found easily in case you know there's an urgent appointment for a patient. I also prepare notes for clinics and for theatres for patients coming in for their appointments but it's very much based around the physical formats of the records. This is a closed library like all record libraries should be and only people have access with their swipe cards to get into the, the department and that's mainly the staff that work in the department. The unit coordinators need access because they work out of hours so if they're looking for a note at the weekend etc they have to have access to the department but apart from that the secretaries, everybody else needs to ring the, the doorbell. We do question even a clinical person, it's very clear that they're clinical, appear at the door 
with scrubs or whatever on. Staff are empowered to ask and ask you why you're looking for them. So can we do track the notes and we tell them we're tracking the notes to you? Can I have your name? Because we've got a responsibility to keep patients' records safe. So we have to be mindful of data protection laws at all times. However, we also can't divulge any information about a patient, even to the patient themselves, without them filling out an access to health records document, which is essentially a legal agreement allowing us to release the information. It's there to protect the patient and to protect the organisation. The clinical coders and myself are all paper light. We don't use paper at all. Everything's stored on our computers and we ensure that the room that we're working in no one can see what's on our screen and if we move away from the area that we're working in we always lock our PCs. We had a real issue with storage space in the department and at the same time I was involved in plans for phase two expansion and I was asked if we could clear out a section of records. Prior to COVID we just didn't really have the resource to do that. We have to be on site. Staff could work from home a lot during COVID because it's a physical job. We were still supplying records. So myself and the team leaders got together and we thought, right, this is an opportunity for us to do something here. We took the decision to box records up. We went through them with a fine tooth comb and if we felt there was any possibility that you would come back to the hospital, we scanned those records. There were records that we had stored that hadn't been looked at for maybe six or seven years. So we started boxing them up and storing them off site. At quite a low cost, we managed to create a safe working environment by doing that. There were still appointments going on, there were still things needing scanned. It was maybe just a case of the numbers started coming down, which freed us up a bit for other things. But generally the job didn't change too much. There was a lot of socially, social distancing involved, got to wear masks around the office, all the, the necessary PPE and hand washing, etc. As things are easing up slightly, my job hasn't really changed much, so my point of view is it's not been affected greatly, although that isn't the norm. I think other people have probably had different experiences within the department. Due to COVID, myself and the clinical coders are now working from home five days a week and it has been a big success due to us being able to actually do our jobs anywhere because everything we use is computerised. I can do everything including managing the clinical coders from home and what I've found is that to benefit the organisation the productivity for myself and the clinical coders has actually increased. The amount of work you can get through in the one day is it's unbelievable. I, I really was, was quite surprised. A lot of staff that have remained in the roles that they're in for many years because they're quite happy. If booking office posts come up at higher band, I certainly encourage them to go for these bands. Unfortunately, because of the success of the Jubilee and all of these areas opening up, we lose quite a wee bit of staff because what we find is when staff go to be interviewed for other admin roles, the knowledge that they've gained because they know the referral process all the way through. The managers have come afterwards and say, you know, they got that job based on their knowledge. I find a lot of people can have the experience from here and go on to, say, the booking office, auditing roles, and we've had plenty of people move up to performance and planning and, and even further as well. So there's definitely it's a good base to start off gaining experiences and go on to other things. There's actually loads of opportunities that are presented to internal staff actually studying a business management degree through the organisation. It's funded through Skills Development Scotland. My manager was brilliant enough to put my name forward for it. It's allowed me to get a fuller qualification while still working in here and to give me the opportunity to move on and into different departments in the coming years, hopefully. I feel quite fortunate that opportunity was presented to me. Going electronic, I think that's the bigger picture. Not making as many case notes, moving away from paper, that then means it will obviously be quicker and easier for consultants, not even just at this hospital, but at, say, Glasgow, for example, or Lanarkshire. They'll be able to, to view any patient's records electronically, rather than having to phone and ask us to post stuff out to them or fax or email, it'll just be there. We've got a very good settled team here. It's a small team, but everyone is willing to help each other out. They're all happy to mix up their job and do what needs to be done. And I think that just makes the office a pretty good place to work.